Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. Will the Minister update the House on how the government's business tax cuts will benefit all hard-working Australians? Is the Minister aware of any alternative approaches that pose a threat to Australian small businesses, including the 17,000 small businesses in my electorate of Karangamite? The Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Karangamite for her question. She is a most passionate advocate on behalf of all of the small and medium-sized enterprises in her electorate of Karangamite. Like everyone on this side of the chamber, she has been working incredibly hard as a member of our government team to cut taxes for small and medium-sized enterprises, because she understands that small and medium-sized enterprises they are the true job drivers in our economy, employing more than 6.5 million Australians. And she knows this firsthand because she and I have visited a number of businesses in her electorate, including the Irrawarra Bakery, which employs uh, around about 40 full-time employees and 10 part-time employees. And they themselves will get a company tax cut. They, as a result of our tax cuts, will only be paying 27.5 per cent rather than 30 per cent. Now, this is good news for those businesses who are looking to employ and who are looking to invest and looking to grow their businesses. But there are, I'm afraid to say, alternative approaches. And unfortunately, those opposite would seek to punish small and medium-sized enterprises. They will punish those enterprises because they will hike up their taxes. They will slug small and medium-sized enterprises 30 cents in the dollar rather than 27 and a half cents in the dollar. And they will do that despite the fact that those small and medium-sized enterprises represent around about 97 per cent of all business in this country. And Labor will not stop there. They will also impose a minimum of 30 per cent tax on the distributions of discretionary trusts. It is just another Labor tax grab on 270,000 small businesses. And the Leader of the Opposition, who once supported trusts, he needs to explain why it is that he will provide an exemption to farm trusts, but not to those small businesses who provide farmers with farm supplies, such as fertilisers for crops and stock feed for livestock. They also have lumpy income, and yet he would seek to punish them. And this is in addition to the fact that Labor is raising taxes across all other areas, like personal income tax and like the fact that they will change negative gearing to hurt small investors, like teachers and police officers, those people on average incomes. Unfortunately, Labor is all about the politics of envy, not the economics of opportunity. They will punish small and medium-sized enterprises. They will punish hard-working Australians. Those on this side of the House, we will represent them.